Hey friends, it's Miss Grace and I am here in my own house again today, just like probably most of you guys are. But I'm here to remind us that Jesus' power gives us hope. And to talk about that today, all you're going to need is something to write in, your thankful journal, it could be a real journal or a piece of paper, and if you want to follow along, you can bring your Bible. I know a lot of us may be feeling scared, we might be feeling a little bit discouraged, but one thing that we haven't talked about is that a lot of times during the coronavirus situation, people can feel angry. Some people are angry that they can't go to the places that they want to go to, they can't go to school or to church, they can't play sports with their friends, they can't even get haircuts or go to the movies. Maybe you felt angry about something during this situation. Maybe you've missed out on a birthday party or going on a fun trip. Pause this video and talk together about something about this whole situation that has made you kind of angry. Friends, anger is an emotion that we all have, and anger in and of itself is not a bad thing. What matters is what we do with that anger. And so talk together about how you can change the anger that you're feeling into something more productive. I'll ask that again. Talk together, how can you change the anger you're feeling into maybe something more productive? Thanks for sharing that, friends. Well, today I do have a fun music video for you, just like every week, so if you want to pause me, Click on the link in the video below and we will sing and dance together. That was so much fun. Well, now I want to get into our story. And some of our main characters today were probably feeling a little bit angry. Not just with any other person. They may have been a little bit angry with Jesus. Can you imagine? But I think some people know that sometimes when things go wrong, we might even feel angry with God. And so in this story, Mary and Martha called for Jesus. They said, Jesus, our brother is very sick and he's dying. Please come and heal him. They knew that Jesus was a healer. But when Jesus heard the news, he didn't seem like he was in any rush to come and see Mary and Martha. In fact, he waited a few days until he came. Can you imagine how Mary and Martha must have felt? They knew that Jesus could heal Lazarus, but he didn't come right away. To illustrate what this might have felt like, I want you to squeeze your hands together in really tight fists. Go as tight as you can. Maybe if you have long fingernails, you'll even feel them kind of pushing into your skin. It might hurt a little bit. So Mary and Martha were feeling very angry. Now, hold your fists, maybe not too tight. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Hold your fists while I tell you the rest of the story. So finally, Jesus learned that Lazarus had died. And so he took the disciples with him to go see Lazarus. But Jesus said something very strange. He said, this sickness will not end in death. But Lazarus had already died. And when Jesus got there, like we said, Mary and Martha were probably very angry. He said, Lord, if you would have been here, Lazarus would not have died. But Jesus went to Lazarus, and then he did something amazing. He said, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus, who had been dead for three days, came out of the tomb, maybe even still wrapped in the, the body club coverings that they had put on him. It was a miracle. Mary and Martha were overjoyed. Now, if you're still holding your fists tight together, let them go and maybe take a big, deep breath. <sighs> Mary and Martha were very angry at Jesus at first, but they didn't realize that Jesus had his own plan. Everyone knew that Jesus could heal people who were sick but now they knew that Jesus could even raise the dead. Sometimes we don't always understand God's plans. Sometimes we can even get angry with God for allowing things to happen. 
But friends, Jesus' power gives us hope. That's what I want to remind you today. So for our science fun experiment today, I'm going to put a picture up on the screen. It may not look like very much to you right now. You just see some white and some dark shapes. But do you see the four circles in the middle? Maybe those could stand for the four letters H-O-P-E because Jesus' power gives us hope. Now, for the next 30 seconds, I want you to concentrate on those four dots. Really look at them and try not to blink as much as you can. Keep looking. Keep staring at those four dots. Getting excited to show you guys. Okay, when I take away the picture, I want you to look at a blank wall or a, just a blank white, maybe sheet of paper. Ready? Three, two, one. Are you looking at something blank? Can you see it? Maybe look a little bit harder. Does it look like Jesus? When we were looking just at the picture, it was hard for us to understand. But when we got a new perspective, we could finally see that it was Jesus. Sometimes situations in life are like that. We don't understand when we're staring too close. But sometimes when we go to Jesus in prayer, or we talk to people who are close to us or read God's word, we get a fresh perspective on our situation. Friends, I want you to remember that Jesus' power gives us, what were those four letters? H O P E. Friends, how about we share together with our families something that you're hoping for? Maybe you're hoping that this summer you'll still be able to get to do some of the fun things that you've done in summers past. Maybe you're hoping that you'll be able to go visit your grandma and grandpa again. Share together what you're hoping for. Thanks for sharing. Now, maybe together as a family, you could pray for those things that you're hoping for, trusting in whatever God has planned. Today, in your thankful journal, I want you to draw or write down something that God has done that you hoped for. Maybe you can't think of anything recently, but maybe you can think back to when you prayed for God to help you do well on a test, or you prayed for someone who was sick and they got well. Think about what God has done and how he has shown you that his power gives us hope. Write down today's date so that you can remember it and work on that together. Friends, I've so enjoyed being able to see you on Zoom face to face, but I also hope that you enjoy these videos as well. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye-bye.